four minute warm up routine. Let's go. Hi everybody, my name is Ben Parks, 236 marathoner and ultra runner. So what I want to show you today is the warm-up routine that I do before every single run that I go on. Whether that's um, you know, race day for the marathon, whether I'm going to the track for a session, or whether I'm just doing a little 10k in the park, you know, where I am now. So really, really important to get this sort of routine built into all of those runs you do. It helps get the blood flowing in your legs, it helps increase that mobility, which is really important for injury prevention. If you were going off, um, setting off whatever pace on cold muscles, you're really setting yourself up for potentially getting injured there. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here is my routine. Point number one. So the first thing I do is really super, super easy little jog. So you're talking about 60 to 90 seconds, a split, literally as slow as you can go. It just gets your body into moving in the right sort of way. So super simple, super easy, don't go very fast. 60 to 90 seconds, little warm up jog. Number two. So this is what I call opening and closing the gate. Really good to increase your hip mobility, increase that sort of range of motion in your stride, and yeah, just sort of stride length as well, which helps propel yourself down the road that little bit further. So how you want to start, I'll do this towards the camera to start with. So out, leg to sort of parallel with the floor and then back down and moving forward at the same time. So all the way round, parallel to the floor, back down. All the way out, parallel to the floor, back down. And you want to do this probably, well, just as much space as you've got, but probably about sort of 10 to 15 on each side. And I'll show you that from another angle. So that there, that is closing the gate, as you close, um, sort of like closing a gate as your leg comes back around. So on top of that, just afterwards we then want to do what we call opening the gate, which is very, very similar, just the other way around. So demonstrating that at this angle, we're just driving the leg forward and then around and down. Drive the leg forward, around, again keeping that nice and parallel to the ground and back down. Forward, around and back down forward, around, and back down. And I'll show you that from the other angle. So moving on to number three. So this is what I just call leg swings. You've probably seen a lot of sort of track athletes do this. It's really sort of popular before people do their track warm-ups. So yeah, two different ways of doing this. The first one, and it's normally easier to hold on to something doing this, so some railings or a tree or another person by you, I haven't got anything, so I'm gonna try and balance. Um, but yeah, from this angle, just straight forward, just swinging that leg backwards and forwards. Now what this is gonna do is really help engage your glutes, get them nice and fired up and warmed up, which are really important for that sort of stability when running. Um, and then sort of, oh yeah, after about sort of 10 or so on that side, change over to your other side, and then just get that other leg going. Gets the hamstrings nice and warmed up as well. There we go. So just after that one, you wanna do it the other way. So side to side, basically. This is a little bit harder to do standing here, but yeah, you just put in that leg across and then, then swing it out. So across and swing it out. And you want to do about 10 of those on each side and then switch around and do that on the other leg there. So moving on to number four, which is walking lunges. Now this is really, really important warm-up exercise and not just important as a warm-up exercise, but you can be doing this at home as part of your strength training routine. So what this is going to be doing is activating your glutes, 
is going to be opening up your hips as well and really helping to improve that stride length which is what is so important in running. The further you can propel yourself down the road with every step, the less steps you have to take, the quicker you get to the finish line basically. So what does that look like in practice? Well here's a quick demonstration. So what you want to be doing, find an area probably about 10 to 15 meters or so um, and yeah just make sure it's nice and flat with nothing really in the way and what you want to be doing is striding out keep keep your sort of your core nice and engaged and straight then you're trying to get this knee onto the floor and as you look over this knee you want to be just seeing the end of your shoe you don't want to be sort of going too far here and collapsing keep it nice and engaged in your core and then back up stride forward again this knee back knee touching the floor make sure you can see just the front of your shoe and keeping your core nice and engaged and you want to be doing that as a repetition probably about sort of eight nine ten sets of that um, and then change around and come back the other way so moving on to number five so this is going to be butt kick so what we're trying to do now is trying to raise the heart rate to get ourselves ready for running so a little bit more cardiovascular stuff coming in now and also trying to sort of replicate some of the movements that you see in a running stride a little bit extreme but yeah we're just trying to get our bodies to moving in that sort of way that we do when we run important point here to think about when tech with technique is that so many people when they do this they're sort of stretching out and trying to kick out like this in sort of this sort of motion that's that's really wrong and it's, it's not something you're going to be doing when you're going to be running what you want to be visualizing is having that sort of ankle and knee coming up and touching your bum in that sort of way as we go so I'll, I'll show you that in sort of a forward motion this way And then back again. So number six, which is our, going to be our final warm-up uh, exercise, is what we're going to do is high knees. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can do this sort of standing on the spot, or you can do this going forward. So what you want to be really concentrating on here is it's not all about your knees. It's also about your arms as well. So if we're going to be doing some standing on the spot, it's driving those knees nice and high, a little bit above parallel basically here, but don't be one of those people that's going out like this because you really want to start engaging your arms, your sort of your elbow and your shoulder as well to be driving that forward you know, with the alternate leg basically. So how that's going to look in practice. And also, if, you, if you've got a little bit of extra space, you can do that by moving along as well. So there we go guys, that's six little warm-up exercises you can build into any type of run that you're going to be doing. It's so, so important to get these before you know to get these in before that run that you do please don't sort of skimp on it um, because you're getting you could potentially setting yourselves up for injury and it just gets your body nice and warmed up for what you're about to do focus on the technique if it's a lovely warm day like it is here in London today then fine to do this outside just before you head out if you're in the middle of winter or you live in a bit of a colder climate country again you could do these just sort of inside before you go out just to get your body nice and warmed up so thanks very much for following along guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up below um, like it and subscribe and yeah there'll be more videos coming along shortly